in this video I will be showing you <clears throat> the grand opening for the church that I go to in the very first service which was today Sunday the grand opening was yesterday which was Saturday so I'll be showing you clips from that of what the church looks like the tour that I went on and all that good stuff and my pastor talking a little bit I just want to share because this is great glory for him and one thing I want to tell you so yesterday um, the makeup did not blend well. It kind of looked like this. I forgot to put foundation like around my face because I've been doing like mask makeup, which is fine. But I just have to remember to put foundation like on my forehead because it looked like this. So yeah, just to warn you when you see that part of the video. Ooh, ciao. So usually I just use baby lotion. And I'm going go on with the foundation, but to make it smooth. I use two, well, I actually use one concealer. You know, I love Pro, I love LA concealer. So this is the LA concealer that I use. It's LA Colors True Matte Foundation, but it was too light for my skin, but I use it under my eyes after I use this. And this really helps me get rid of like that gray look under my eyes, which just brightens me up a little bit more. I'm just putting on mascara. Atlash Balmanizing Mascara Waterproof. I didn't really want to put some lashes on, so I used the Isler London Pro Magnetic. I used magnetic lashes, magnetic glue. I did four, even though they said three, because one time I did four and they really stuck on nice. So. Yeah, so I do four coats, like I go over it four times, but then like I put one coat on, let it dry. Get another coat, let it dry. Yep, there we go. You can see my lip gloss. I like to wear lip gloss. I got this from the dollar store. This is Glam Gloss, of course, LA. LA again. I love LA girl makeup, LA colors. This doesn't turn out like, this doesn't look uh, red. But it gives kind of like a red pink tint, but it's not as uh, bright as I thought it would be. I love lip gloss and matte lipsticks, like the dry matte lipsticks. Okay, all done with the makeup. And now I'm gonna do my hair. Some dangling earrings because a ring light went off, so now I have to use an umbrella light. But that's fine, as long as we have some lighting. Oh, and I want to explain, so some of the footage that I took, I'm showing, because I couldn't use all of it, but I'm showing, like, they have kids' church and teen church, and I got footage of, like, the hallways, kids' church, teen church, the cafe that they have, which will be open in January. Yeah, I think that's all the footage that I got. Oh, duh, Madison. I got the auditorium in the stage, which you will see again at the end of this video with people in it this time <laughs> instead of the tour guide. But yeah. Whew, coming together. We're coming together. There's also a Christmas service on Tuesday that my church is having at 6 p.m., and 8 p.m. those are the two times I'm going at 6 p.m. for Tuesday well my church always go all out in general but they go all out for the let's get this back here because I gotta be ready I'm not playing gotta look cute for Jesus first service I'm so excited now I'm gonna put the bun in All done with that. These look nice. There you go. Those are cute. We are good. Look at that. So pretty. All right, so let me show you the full outfit. I'm also going to put on a blazer. I have high-waisted black ripped jeans on. 
and this turtleneck. I would call it like a white lightning, like a whitening, whitening. Okay, but yes, this is the outfit. I'm gonna put my blazer on now. Make it look a little bit more. Yes. Top from Forever 21, blazer from Charlotte Verse, pants from Fashion Nova, and shoes from Fashion Nova. I'll be doing the shoe cam very soon. I'm a little bit more awake now. I haven't even had any coffee. <laughs> oh yeah, I was ready to get my church on. So yes, this has no pockets. Yeah, this is what it looks like all the way up and back. I just feel weird turning around. Anywho, but yes. All right, shoe cam. There we go, there we go, shoe cam. Love the shoe cam. Front, side, yes. Back. These are my shoes. Now, since I'm all done getting dressed, I am going to Put in some footage here so you can see the grand opening yesterday. My pastor cutting the ribbon. And yes, I had to screen record from Instagram because I wasn't close enough. I could not get him like super close cutting the ribbon. So you're going to see that and then inside of the church because they gave us a tour. So, and then you'll see me going to church. And that'll be the end of the video. So make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell. All right, on to yesterday. work they have put into not just to get us into the building over the last couple months but just for the last several years uh, from our, our lead, leadership team that will be, be joining us here up here at the front in just a moment to all of our, our team and our and our dream team volunteers who just put in so much time it's been a great journey it really has 24 years uh, 1996 we came here with a vision just to hand out some flyers and tell people about jesus teach the bible and to look up now and see that we are in multiple states and <laughs> We are going into the church at 12.15, and I'll be showing pictures because my phone is dying. <laughs> but yes, stay tuned. want to hear something funny my church usually has three services one at 8 a.m one at 10 a.m and one at 12 noon i got up at 5 55 a.m so i can get up get dressed record and get ready for church and still have time to get ready and record and all that good stuff and we had to get tickets online my mom thought it was for 8 a.m but it says type 8 a.m. attendee. Our tickets are really at 12 noon. <laughs> 